Sassari in Sardinia is the scene for the ninth and final stage in the Giro d'Italia Donna. It is going to be another hot day on the bike for the women who prepare themselves for most probably a sprint finish. And for Annemiek van Vleuten, it will be the key to stay safe today and cross the finish line. Yeah, we're just, just chipping away. It's a real day-by-day -day operation at this point. But yeah, feeling good today. Today will be a sprint stage, hopefully. So yeah, fingers crossed we'll just make it to the finish and give it a good nudge today. Yeah, there are these two climbs that, uh, of course, for uh, yeah, it depends how the legs are and how, of course, you do the race. Uh, and then uh, it's all about uh, spinning legs and find a good position, and stay out of trouble. And then, uh, yeah, of course, sprint is always trouble, but then uh, <laughs> it's what it is. Eh? 126 kilometers before the finish in Obia. And in the first hour of the race, riders try to get away, but the peloton is controlling who gets away. It is at 66 kilometers to go that the first break is a fact. Iris Montecolo breaks from the peloton and gets a small gap. Behind her, Olympic champion Anna Kiesenhofer counter-attacks, meets Montecolo and goes solo. Later, Montecolo is back in the bunch. But 10 kilometers later, when the peloton hits the first climb of the day, Anna Kiesenhofer is also being caught by the chasing peloton. Then an attempt by FDJ Suez, Cecily Utrup Ludwig. But for Movistar, Utrup Ludwig is too dangerous to let go and she is chased back by Liana Lippert, who catches the Danish rider and goes solo. It is Giro stage winner Blanca Katavas, whose tempo makes sure that Lippert is soon back into the peloton again. The Hungarian champion tries to stay out, but Movistar brings her back into the bunch. Another attack, this time by Alessia Vigilia. And Team Jumbo, Visma and Team Movistar up the tempo and also this break is a no-go. And it looks like it's going to be a bunch sprint in the streets of Olbia. Kenya Sram is leading the way and then the final 200 meters. Now it's Chiara Consoni in the middle, Wollaston and Foss on the outside. But it is the Italian Chiara Consoni who wins the ninth and final stage in a Giro d'Italia Donna. It's just a, a good feeling and uh, ended with the victory is uh, the best things that uh, you can do. And yeah, this year uh, uh, more for uh, because it's uh, the last uh, last race for Ma for Marta. And uh, yeah, I want to to say thanks to her because um, uh, she teach me a lot. And uh, yeah, it was it was special also for this one. Like last year, Chiara Canzoni wins the final stage in Giro d'Italia Donna. Marianne Vos finishes second and Ali Wollaston third. Wow, yeah, uh, always special to win a GC because it's really a team effort. This is the second time in Movistar. Um, and always tension uh, to finish it off. The last two days were maybe not so much my power course, but then it's also the challenge to stay focused. And uh, But I'm yeah, happy to have the team for that. And uh, yeah, I was happy that I had already a big lead, so we could also play a bit with, uh, with all the teammates today. Uh, yeah, I'm super proud of the team, especially in the last kilometers when we're riding all in one line is, uh, and then I'm following them. It's, yeah, I'm proud. Annemiek van Vleuten finishes safe today and wins the Giro d'Italia Donna 2023. Juliette Labousse is happy second and Gaia Realini third. No change in the top of the UCI Women's World Tour leader classifications. Demi Vollering did not race in Italy, but still leads ahead of Marlon Reuser. And with her win, Annemiek van Vleuten jumps to third. Sherine van Androoy extends her lead in the UCI Women's World Tour Young Rider classification. Gaia Realini closes in a bit and is second. Maika van der Duin is third.